In other news stories, three Australians are believed to be among the 13 feared dead after a volcano erupted on New Zealand's White Island. Eight people are missing and presumably dead after a volcanic eruption covered a small New Zealand island popular with tourists in hot ash and steam. The eruption has reportedly killed 13 people and seriously injured around 30 more. Rescuers have been unable to access the island, which is now covered in grey ash. As you can see, the volcano's vent continues to emit steam and New Zealand's Geoscience Agency has already warned of another eruption in the coming 24 hours with a 50-50 chances. The eruption that took place on that day, uh, we know, uh, based on the reports that we've received from the Prime Minister, uh, we can confirm has taken at least five lives. Of the 24 Australians, we've been able to ascertain overnight and this morning uh, that uh, 13 of those Australians are hospitalised across uh, multiple hospitals in New Zealand. There are 11 Australians that are still unaccounted for and that we fear of the five deceased persons that three of those, up to three, uh, are Australians, but that is not yet confirmed. New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has said that aerial recognizance flights showed no signs of life on White Island, while eyewitnesses have detailed the horrific burns suffered by some survivors. Ardern said tourists from Australia, the United States, Britain, China and Malaysia were among the missing and injured, along with some New Zealanders too. I want to acknowledge the courageous decision made by first responders and those pilots who in the immediate rescue effort made an incredibly brave decision under extraordinarily dangerous circumstances in an attempt to get people out. As a result of their efforts, a number of people were rescued from the island. The paramedic team has described the overwhelming feeling of witnessing the catastrophic scene. So when we got there, uh, it was it was quite a um, uh, quite an, a, an experience. There was it was like um, like I've seen the the Chernobyl um, miniseries, and it there was just everything was just blanketed in ash. It was it was quite. Um, Quite a um, an overwhelming risk feeling. Yeah, there was a helicopter on the island that um, that had obviously been there at the time, um, with its rotor blades were off it. Um, it's quite a it's quite a um, it's quite a shocking experience, I suppose. But we we have to try and put that to side for for now and, and get on with what we're doing. Floral tributes were laid at New Zealand's Pilot Bay for victims of the volcanic eruption.